is a neurodegenerative condition. It is a condition where there are motor neurons, which are the cells responsible for movement, degenerate in both the brain and in the spinal cord. What happens when those cells start degenerating is people start getting motor weakness or weakness of certain areas of their body. I knew that I enjoyed establishing relationships with my patients and being able to offer them a good quality of life throughout their disease. Um, some um, neurological disorders, you see a patient once, you give them the diagnosis, and you don't see them again. And this is a disease where you have a long-term relationship with your patients. We see patients from uh, Windsor all the way up to Thunder Bay, um, all the way across to, to Guelph, and all along the Niagara Peninsula as well. We see patients down there as well. Um, that being said, because we are a long-standing clinic, we are the first ALS uh, clinic in Canada, um, we have a strong reputation as well. And so we've certainly had second opinions for patients as far away as Newfoundland um, and Manitoba, and patients have come from elsewhere in the world even to come to our clinic because of the strong reputation. At uh, London Health Sciences Centre, um, we use what's approved by Health Canada, and there is one medication called Riluzol, the trade name is Rilutec, so many people refer to it as Rilutec. And that medication is uh, a medication that can slow the progression of the disease somewhat. The main treatment is to be seen through a multidisciplinary clinic. And a multidisciplinary clinic means a clinic that has expertise in ALS where we can tailor therapy to the individual needs of the patient. And what that team would be is involvement of several allied health individuals. So a physiotherapist, an occupational therapist, a dietitian, a social worker, a clinical nurse specialist, respiratory doctor in some locations as well, and I'm probably missing someone, so I apologize if I'm missing someone, um, but that holistic care helps patients become as functional as they can within the confines of their weakness at that time. We also do anticipatory care, and so if we anticipate that in the near future something's going to change, our allied health team makes some suggestions um, to allow for an easier transition if something's going to happen. So that could mean suggesting a feeding tube if a feeding tube is required. That could mean suggesting BiPAP, which is a breathing support system, if uh, that is required as well. Um, it could be also preparing patients for end-of-life care as well. So there's many facets of the care that we provide to these patients. ALS is a, uh, a disorder that obviously nobody wants to get. Um, and the concept of hope behind it is such a strong and powerful concept. Um, so coming to clinic, we offer hope in the fact that we can provide a good quality of life for the patients with, through their disease. But the other thing is, when they come to clinic, they can also have access to clinical trials. And I think, and I know, clinical trials is the future for this disease, and there will be treatments uh, in the future. And that um, concept of an effective treatment for these patients is something that really stimulates me to keep working with these patients, because there is hope at the end of the uh, 